Hey guys, good evening everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Miss JD for another episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights. Thursday episode. Okay, so it's already 12 in the morning of uh, July 2nd. So technically this is a pre-open uh, stock market analysis for July 2nd. Okay, now um, let's first talk about the index and pretty much my outlook here is still the same. Still, um, we're still sitting at a possible resistance and we have to closely monitor if this ME20 line will still be respected, right? But um, if the market is really bullish, then uh, chances are it could break this resistance area that we see at the moment here uh, around this level. So very uh, promising outlook the same, at the same time because you can never tell, you know, if uh, this resistance is going to, uh, if we break that resistance, then chances are we could uh, create a, a higher high like that and probably revisit it and continue to move up again. So let us see. Okay, so this is your resistance. Possible support would be your MA20 line. Uh, if that gets broken, then that's a different story. You might have to uh, look and see if it will even reach 6,772 level. There you go, right over here. So at least we know the key areas to watch out for. There you go. Now, the next talk that I'll be um, reviewing is here, a request from Ann Lim and uh, Jaredson. So this is MRC and Ali. Okay, let me first check MRC. <clears throat> no, MRC. So we had a, a slight bounce right here, but with uh, a matching pullback today. So I think this is slowly but surely starting to climb up. And uh, our MA20 line could act as our nearest support at the moment. So I think this is a good chance for those who are still interested to get in. Um, it's not that expensive um, uh, yet, but at least it's starting to recover. And we all know that as we go higher and higher, there will be instances wherein uh, pullback can happen. And this is the first, perhaps. Uh, well, we had some here, but uh, for me, I would say this is already starting to look bullish. Okay, so if you are a mid to long term holder for MRC, you won't be... Uh, uh, you won't be too intimidated by these two red days. It's just a normal uh, behavior of a stock. Because if you are to look at it, look at the bigger picture. We are just sitting right at the uh, support levels of uh, MRC. Okay, so just monitor the news, what projects they have in the pipeline, and uh, try to understand the big, the bigger picture. And if you want to do uh, range trading or swing trading. Uh, MA20 area right now is still a, a, an attractive level to enter, 0.40 area. The next one is Ali. Okay, Ali right here is, so we're trying to establish a, a new support at this area. Uh, I noticed that each time this level is hit, I see a bounce that is happening. Look at this, up to this point over here. This one too. So let's see if this will be sustained. 3594, 36 level. That's your possible area of uh, support or bounce. Let's see the bigger picture. Uh, this too has a, a, a good story. Look at that. We're starting to climb up. So these are your drops here. Uh, let me just change this to maybe this color. See this each time. It drops there then the next one over here is now it's much higher than the previous one so hopefully this is starting to create higher highs and higher lows which are uh, important elements of uh, an uptrend this one over here we officially crossed the MA20 line so good that's on a weekly chart so chances are we could just be stabilizing here before it continues to move up, all right? So that is the support I see at the moment. Now let's try to look at the other stocks. So Mond, 
Wow. Interesting. So promising, but again, uh, my pointers here is that, of course, uh, we don't have really a baseline because it has just started and uh, this talk is, is just finding its way uh, to its real intrinsic value or market value. Uh, and it is the market who is dictating this at the moment. We don't know at which point it could potentially retrace or it will continue to move higher and higher. So if you want to um, get in here, uh, for me, for position trader, position trading, uh personally and this is just me okay we have we all have different profiles here and for me i'd say uh i already find this a bit uh, on the expensive side and a bit on the scary side because of this being now at the uh over bought level but again what's interesting interesting here is that volume is still picking up okay even if we are already at the overbought level that means they are they are not minding the price at the moment. They still feel that there is still more to this stock in terms of value and price. So it could still go higher for all we know. But your call, you just have to be extra careful just in case. Because we don't know how much it could drop significantly in just the span of a day or even minutes or hours. Let's try to look at ever. I know I, I talked about ever in the previous uh, episodes, if you can just backtrack my video, I mentioned that there's a big chance that it could uh, respect the MA20 line. And currently that is the flow of uh, the chart here. It bounced at the MA20 and starting to recover from there. So area to watch out for is the nearest resistance at this key level. Let me just mark that this is the area where you have your previous uh, resistance so if you if there will be fluctuations within the day tomorrow then that will be your chance uh, and let's find out if for example you're able to enter right here and you exit right here that gives you a good 32.9 percent but we don't know because this one only happened within the day the climb, I don't know how fast it could take to reach the, the nearest resistance. Let's talk about ASIN. ASIN also quickly recovered around the MA20 line. And this is your nearest resistance. Again, guys, um, and this is just me. Again, we, we have different profiles here. I find the ASIN really is a stock that's a growth stock. So many promising projects. The niche that uh, we have here is also uh, starting to gain popularity. Renewable energy. Okay, so uh, if we can um, watch the market tomorrow, fluctuations between 8.14 to 8.43 is uh, a good area to try and add more volume right there. Dito, we also had some red days the past few days, but good thing today we managed to see a 2.84 percent lift in the price so looks like this is respecting this area of support so we're still slightly higher than what i see at the moment so tomorrow could still be we could see some fluctuations but i like the candlestick today it's a, a green engulfing candlestick it's much higher than the previous day, and we are inside the uh, Bollinger Band, so that's good. It's just that look at the volume; still no progress in the volume, so that's that's why I really cannot, you know, with full conviction, say that okay, we're now changing the direction. I don't think so. It could still happen like this: a green engulfing candlestick, but you know, the uh, decline still continued to to happen. Already talked about Ali. Let's see. ICT. ICT, look at that. Very powerful. Just draw this line. Just follow the trend. And if this does not get broken, then you are safe. Um, and uh, look at uh, ASEN for long term, guys. But again, position traders, you'd be very scared of this level now. Look at that. 
it's already very high. So a reminder for those people who still would like to get in here, this is an area where investors won't really care. Okay, because they're looking at the bigger potential of the stock five, ten years from now. So for, we really do not know if, you know, it could just continue to climb up higher and higher. But again, for us, position traders, personally, I already find it a bit expensive. But part of me is saying that if I want to invest on it long term, probably, uh, add small volume uh, once in a while and take advantage of those drops or uh, dips there wow jfc oops i think we're um, respecting the resistance that we have here at the moment and why am i saying that that's a resistance and we're about to see some possible uh, uh, pullbacks in the coming days that's your uh, bearish signal here you did a double top actually it's starting to do a triple top and your RSI is declining so the next area to watch out for we still have to check out our MA20 it might be respected and we might just see uh, continuation maybe a temporary temporary uh, dip and drop at 206 and uh, create brand new highs. Because overall, we're just halfway our recovery. We want to beat this period over here. And today I watched the news. Uh, there is a, a, a bit of a progress in terms of uh, the employment rate in the country. If I'm not mistaken, we are just sitting at around 3 point, 3 point something percent. I watched ANC today, if you can just backtrack. Uh, they talked about 60% uh, of the working class men are now able to work, something to that effect. And uh, unemployment rate has declined. So that could also mean that our uh, economy is recovering that's why probably our index is also showing some signs of recovery so you know the past few days see that so really uh looking forward to more oh this one is nice robinson's retail holdings uh this is really good it's a breakout of this resistance so chances are we could see a continuation and uh, probably if it will create a brand new support that would be around 54. now um who knows people will be taking profit so take advantage of those fluctuations but really this is good uh it's a it's a good uh, setup that i see right here 55 54 um uh, between 54 to 55 that's already okay uh, it also dropped so much look at that okay so really good uh, setup rrhi this one tell tell also managed to uh, break the the downtrend here we crossed we crossed the uh, ma20 line and this was your uh, trajectory before right each time it hits this area, there's rejection that's happening, but we managed to cross that. And so I'd like to plot our new support uh, at this level, our ME20 line. That's our new support. Okay, so we'll take advantage of that. And uh, I think for Tel, while we find this uh, company very, very, uh, you know, uh, promising in the past, because of course, the leading telco in the country it also gives out dividend but hey we have so many competition right now and uh i don't think that you know it will be that aggressive compared to how it was moving in the past so i i, I don't my my take here is this is best for uh short to midterm short to midterm uh length of stay so Let's say you enter right here 1,298, 
and if you see opportunity for this price to hit this level or this level, go, go take profit. Because we don't know once Dito, once Converge, you know, want now we have so many competition now. Uh, we don't know if it would continue to drop. Remember, at one point, this stock reached the 2000, 3000 level. So that's why if there are some um, bounce, I suggest lock in gains for, for tell. Tech, tech here, this is something to watch out for because uh, we have SRO in the coming days. I don't know how they're, they would like to approach this, but really interesting. In the past, normally before an X date, and this happens during the dividend uh, release. As we approach near the, the X date of the dividend, it continues to move up. But here it did, right, somehow. But uh, as early as the 28th of, of June, it started to decline. It started, stayed flat here. So we don't really know if it will give us a, a, a reverse reaction. We don't really know. But so far, I see a support right at this level. Some I saw a, a post uh, a few days ago. They said that the... SRO price is around 550. So if that's going to be the price, it's not that far from the current price right now. So I wonder if it is going to be uh, attractive in the eyes of the consumers. Right? So far, it's still respecting this. Really, we really got to watch what happens uh, later today. Because that's the X date. This is what happened to ASIN in the past. This one over here, the so there was a big rally. And then a few days before, it started to drop. And then on the X date, it's, it did a gap down. But because it was so down, people felt it's really very cheap. And we started buying. I was able to actually buy two at this level. Um, and... Uh, started climbing so really interesting uh, I'll watch out for tech later okay Mary Mart good good this is really starting to look good this is your support 393 started to recover now sitting at 418 so anywhere between that to 418 I think it's already a good buy look at this double bottom but your RSI on the second bottom, same level right here, your RSI is already higher than the previous bottom right here. So I think this is it. We're starting to uh, reverse. Look at that. That's your support too. Okay, so could, we could start watching this. Okay, I think that is it, right? I was able to review, review these stocks plus MRC. And uh, let me know your thoughts, guys, uh, if uh, some of these insights indeed happened according to how I mentioned here, or are these stocks also in your portfolio, or if you have some requests, feel free to drop a comment so I can include that in my next review. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Thank you in advance for those people who will be subscribing, sharing, or who will be commenting on this video. Bye-bye for now.